backcourt. Um, it's a big time backcourt. Those two kids are just so solid and uh, obviously built us a great job of coaching all those kids. And they're, they play defense hard, but those two guards uh, are terrific guards. And uh, I thought they really knocked us back at the start of the second half. And for about 10 minutes, you know, it's our, our first game really against that level. And uh, they knocked us back. And it's our guys' credit, the last eight, 10 minutes of the game, I thought we played really well. And I mean, really well against a really good team. And then uh, exciting ending uh, because both teams are winners. And crowd, unbelievable garden. And uh, one big shot, another big shot, big shot, and then a huge shot to, to win. So what do you expect? From the garden and something like this on November, what day is it now? Well, when did it happen? Yesterday or today? Uh, but anyway, in the middle, in the middle of November. But that Mason made a big time play. It was well guarded and just makes a big time play. And, um, but congratulations to them. I think we learned a lot from the game. Um, uh, you know, both teams were in foul trouble. For us, you know, we just don't have the numbers when we get into that foul trouble. It's, uh, uh, but that's that's the way it is. So uh, anyway, it's really a, a learning, good learning experience for us. Questions in the back. Coach, is this still encouraging for you? Granted, with your guys out, you got a rotation in there. This learning came up a little bit short, but you know you got more head rotation. No, it's a, well, I thought overall it's a great experience for us. So if that means encouraging, I think, yes. And, uh, uh, you know, they're going to be one of the best teams in the country, you know, throughout the whole year, unless, God forbid, they have injury. And uh, so to play that way, when a couple of our veterans didn't have good games tonight, and, uh, but that, that's because we played against a, big, a good team. So, uh, no, overall, it was, it was really good. It was good for us. What would you like to see the team do offensively in the second half when they were so stagnant? Well, I thought, it, I thought more than our offense is our defense. Uh, we, I called a timeout after two minutes because we made three really bad defensive mistakes that were easy. And so if you're doing that on the defensive end, your offense isn't going to run well. And again, now they play good defense now. I mean, they're a very, they've always been one of the best defensive teams. So, uh, but we can play good defense and we, we weren't. And uh, we were stagnant on that end. And uh, but, we, we just weren't very good for about 10 minutes. I, I, you know, we called a couple timeouts and we, our faces weren't good and all of a sudden, boom, we were good. And, and then we were really good. But um, too, you know, not enough. Mike, Luke has come out and played pretty spectacularly for all your games. Uh, with what he's done, has this been your expectation level or has he even stepped in even more given the injury issues that you've been having? Well, he's been this, you know, he had a really good game tonight. And, but he's played really well. He's played well in every practice. He's, he's a really good player. So we expected him to be really good. And he's there. You know, I wouldn't say he's overachieved because I think he's a big time player. And so in these, in, at these times, you know, big time players show up even bigger you know, in these environments. And, uh, you know, he was really good tonight. You know, he was one of the reasons we had a chance to win, most definitely. What, what did Grayson Allen show you tonight? It seemed like reserved most of the game, particularly the last couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think Grayson had a very frustrating game. And uh, I think the, you got to, you can't expect to get a foul. You know, you, I think 
he's gone to a point where he makes a move and it's a good move and he expects a foul. And I'm not saying they're not calling fouls. I'm like, you can't do that. Like that, that can't be what you're doing. And the last few minutes he moved well and he, he's playing hard when he gets the ball. And he needs to play harder when he doesn't have the ball, which is what he did in, in the last few minutes. And because it, people are loaded up for you too. Graham's good. And he's, he's a good player and uh, physical, good feet, good defense. They play really good defense on Grayson. And you can't just beat them off the dribble. And you, can't, and you can't get it. So, yeah, he can, obviously, it'll be better than it was tonight. Okay. Is that in a good situation for Kansas? Just because of the talent, obviously, that basketball, but the experience of someone like Spencer, how valuable is that? Well, it's valuable, not just at the end of the game, but, you know, throughout. Because he, hey, you know, I, I'm really big on strong faces and leadership. And, Yes, as strong a face uh, as there is at that guard spot. I mean, he's stoic in how how he looks. He, I told him the line that you know I'm accustomed to talking to players and lines now, and uh, and uh, no one's asking me what I said to him. But, uh, uh, I, I'm going to tell you what I said. That I just said big time shot by big time player. And, uh, he, uh, but he gives the face of a great leader all all the time. You know, he's a uh, big big time guard, but big time winner. He's a he's a big time winner. I got no. I got this. He's for John. Okay, John. Shed uh, for a long time that just because a team puts on a jersey doesn't make them a team. Considering the landscape of your roster, how far do you think the team is away from? Already. Well, I think we're a good team. You know, otherwise, we got blown out of here tonight. And, uh, but we're a limited team right now. Uh, just we don't have the. Uh, we're not who we imagined ourselves to be. And uh, but you know that's not an excuse. That's just the way it is. And, and we'll see what'll happen when we get guys back. Uh, I think these experiences are good. Uh, uh, but yeah. we didn't lose because we were shorthanded tonight. We lost because Kansas played better than we did. And uh, and and that kid and Mason hit you know, was a big time winner. <clears throat> Well, he, yeah, I thought he played more like a freshman in the first half, and but it's a, it's a pretty big environment, and against uh, a great backcourt, and then he made the adjustment in the second half. So I think you know, Frank's going to be a really good player, and uh, he was very good in, in the second half, and just a matter of getting that level of uh, of experience, and you know, we have confidence in him. Yeah. What positives can you take away from tonight's win with three of your star freshmen on the sidelines? Well, the first positive I can I can take is that you're here, so you know, and so everyone's happy because we all look at you and say, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, but the fact that we fought hard, you know, that we played against a really good team, and uh, uh, and then shake hands with them, you know, because they they hit a big big shot. And, uh, and played really hard. Uh, I like what Luke Kennard did. I like the experience that Frank had. I actually thought Chase, but this is a big game for Chase. You know, he, a couple times he didn't finish, but he, I thought he played really hard and well. And uh, uh, again, he's a young player. So uh, you, you learn a lot from being in this, at, at this level of game. And that's why this champions club uh, Classic is so important for these four programs to be able to play in games like this.